Hey everyone, welcome back to Field Trips. Uh, I'm currently climbing up one of our local ski hills called Hapone. Uh, I'm on my mountain bike. Basically, I'm just kind of doing a little recon because uh, my neighbors decided to start a hill climb event, which basically means uh, there's gonna be 20 or so guys on very lightweight, fancy road bikes uh, racing up this hill. The actual climb section is about seven kilometers, so they'll be putting out a lot of power and going really fast. I'm gonna wanna capture as many images as possible, but also because it's an uphill race, uh, it's very limiting from a photography perspective. I can't go faster than the best hill climbers uh, without a camera bag, but with a camera bag, you know, that's basically impossible. So I'm going to uh, recon right now and uh, just kind of hopefully find two or three spots where I can get multiple angles and uh, I'll be able to power ahead uh, the day of uh, and try and pass some of the riders. So I think this will be a really nice uh, spot to shoot. Uh, you can see right here, we've got the road. Uh, we've got the peaks. Uh, I'm sure I can compress that quite a bit to bring everything uh, closer together. The other bonus of this spot is not only will we have this section of road to shoot and the riders will be approaching the camera, but if we look, uh, the road basically goes just behind that lift tower or quite a ways behind it into the forest. Uh, and then it switchbacks back up there and then you can see the road. So their backs will be to me at, if I shoot from here, but this perspective, hopefully I could get a group of uh, riders going up there. At the same time, by the time they're out of frame, uh, I can pack up and uh, head up the hill about 200 meters and shoot with my telephoto as they climb the road. So this looks like it will probably be my first angle. And uh, I think this is a good start. This spot's also perfect. It's really just around uh, the next switchback. You have Yaridake, which is a really pointy tip up there, uh, directly in line with this road. So that's perfect. And then if we swing around uh, to here, we'll have the riders coming up around a nice curve and uh, hopefully they'll have some nice body language, some lean uh, when they're in that corner. I think uh, realistically, this is spot number two to shoot from. It is hot like nobody's business. Wow. Probably 1,000 meters. Uh, actually, I'm probably like 1,300 meters. Whew. It's hot. We have, I think, one last big uh, S-turn coming up. I do recall this is uh, an ugly S-turn because it's right at the end and it's kind of steep. But uh, fortunately, I will stop just up here and uh, recon some of the view because I think this is a good spot to uh, get a couple photos. I feel like this is kind of an obvious uh, shot to get. There's the road you can see here that winds uh, back and forth, maybe from a drone uh, above shooting down the ridge line or horizon line you can see there. Uh, it drops off quite a bit on the back. so. I think when I get to the top here, I'll fly the drone over there and uh, see what that looks like. We're at the top now. While we are up here, uh, let's just do a quick rip through what is actually in my backpack today. I think uh, based on uh, my climb now, I will carry the exact same kit. I've got the uh, Sony a7 with the uh, 24 to 70. I have another a7 with a 70 to 200. And then I have a divider pocket right here. And you can see that's just all backup batteries. Uh, I have a GoPro here. I'm filming on another GoPro right now that was in here earlier. And then in here, I just have a, a handlebar clamp, which I haven't used. 
If we check out the top here, I have the RC Pro controller. I've got the Mavic 3. I do have a DJI mic set up. Here I have, let's see, I think I just got a couple of snack bars. Yeah, wallet and a couple of snack bars. Because I was actively shooting with the drone, I just had the controller placed on top like this. Uh, but when I was actually riding uphill for most of it, I had the sticks removed and <clears throat> I just had it tucked in right here. Uh, it's nice and padded uh, from the frame and the rear panel and of course uh, the core unit padding. So that works good there. If we go in the front pocket here, I have a uh, selfie stick tripod. I haven't used that yet. And I have a t-shirt, so I will use this t-shirt when I get back to my truck because uh, the one I'm wearing right now is quite sweaty. All the shoulder straps, I have uh, my smartphone and in this pocket I have, uh, I have my Garmin. Because I forgot that uh, my mountain bike didn't have a head mount on it, I took it off the other day. That's all I have for uh, this mission. Once again, I'll pack the same when I come out here again. I might bring a little more water just in case. Uh, we'll see what the weather's doing, but uh... Well, we've made it to race day. We're about an hour and a half before the actual start. While we are here waiting, uh, I'm just gonna show you this right now. I forgot to mention previously that I'm taking an e-bike uh, for today, and this is gonna allow me to actually power past the racers. It's 750 watt. Uh, the racers are probably not gonna consistently put out that much, uh, likely much less than half. So I should be able to get around them and move up. Also the road opened up today uh, to the public and I didn't realize that uh, before. So that means there's gonna be some traffic. So <clears throat> because it's a single lane road, uh, if there is traffic, I wouldn't be able to pass them in my car. So it'll be handy to have this e-bike today. And also, because I did a test run on the e-bike, uh, I realized that uh, I could have a lot of weight on the front because my body position is really calm on the e-bike. It's basically zero effort. So I've put a couple of Peak Designs capture clips on. Uh, one is here, and of course one's here. This is the original version, I think. And this is the latest version. So you'll see a bit later when I actually have both uh, my cameras mounted to the front. And I also brought a tripod. Um, I primarily just brought that to take a thumbnail. The last thing I had to change here was I've got my water bottle in the side pocket. Uh, that's just because the e-bike's got a motor where my water bottle was, so I can't actually mount it to the bike. The race is going to start in about 20 minutes. I'm already up here. As you can see, I've got my uh, 7200 mounted with a capture clip. I have another capture here. But uh, I just had a technical issue where I couldn't get it off and uh, I had to put quite a bit of torque on the barrel of my camera and I don't really want to do that so uh, I'm not going to actually mount it on here but that would have been nice if it didn't have a technical malfunction. It was really nice, uh, nice light, you know a little cloudy. Can't do much about that, but at least the light was uh, nice and neutral, a little flat, which I like. Uh, but now it's just started coming down again. Uh, raining pretty good. I'm hiding under this tree. I really hope uh, it doesn't get too much worse and clears up. You know, it is the mountains. The clouds can move quickly, so hopefully that happens. Otherwise, I'm probably going to start shooting a lot tighter, uh, try and catch some suffering in the faces, which I actually quite like. You know, maybe the guys will be a little wet and dirty, so uh, we'll see. Konnichiwa! Hi! Hi, hi. Yeah. That was uh, Oshima san, he's the uh, master of the race, uh, also my neighbor. He's just heading up to the finish line, uh, to, I guess, to welcome the finishers. But that means that, uh, yeah, the racer should be coming up soon because he left the start gate uh, just after the race started. Finally, it looks like it's game on. It's time to take some photos.
All right, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. I got two angles out of that. I'm gonna get on the bike, move uphill about 200 meters, maybe 100 meters, and uh, wait for them to approach. Let's chase these guys down. Hopefully I got some shots back there. The main leader is huffing and puffing. Definitely cool. I do love some bike racing. So that's it, I think I'm done. As you can see, it's raining hard. Uh, camera's away and I'm gonna run back to my car on this e-bike. And uh, that's it for uh, this episode. Uh, I hope you got some good looks at the uh, Action X30. And again, I had the medium mirrorless core unit and a small DSLR core unit up top. We'll check you next time. <laughs>